Well, I see you farmed some souls off screen. I did let's go farm ahead and some get a souls. Yes. Yeah, let's rest at the bonfire. We'll go back to the Firelink Shrine. Oops. Let's. I think we have enough for at least two level ups. Okay. Firelink Shrine, first tab. The whole traveling between bonfires seems to be a lot quicker and less cumbersome in this game than it was in, in the original. Oh, for sure. Let's talk to the woman. Oh, the maiden. Her? Yes. Yeah. Her? Home, yep, she levels you up. Also, give her the Firekeeper soul. Then touch the darkness within me. Well, no, let's level up now that you're here. Nourishment from these you can press A to skip. Okay, so let's go ahead and put one point in endurance. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that wasn't, that wasn't that little half hour spent. Right. Yep, back up. And then you want me to give her something? Yep, give her the Firekeeper Soul, it's the second option. Oh, and I... I this is... Much like you should look at my inventory because I got something that looked like it was good. Yeah, it's we don't have to worry about that. It's just a little extra thing I like to do. All right, back out. You don't have to worry about healing the dark sigil. That's a side quest you have to activate, but we're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, let's go to your inventory. I want to see what you got. It may have just been, t it just, it felt like it was like, like a shard or a something, but maybe not. I mean, if you don't see anything that stands out, then I might have just gotten another of the, but I certainly- Oh, wait a minute. What's that little, next to your, next to the white bone icon? This? Yes, that one. Oh, it's just rubbish. Never mind. Oh. Scroll up. Do you remember what it looks like? No. So if you don't okay. see it, then it does. I don't see anything. Well, actually, tab over. These are normal items. Well, Let's see what been... else. See, I want to say it was like some sort of Titanite something or other, but maybe it wasn't. I mean, it's all various types of Titanite that apply various upgrades. Wouldn't it... Nothing like that. All right, well, we don't have to spend a bunch of time. Uh, on that, uh, so I'm all I'm all set to go. We're all we're good. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's rest at the bonfire. We are now going to travel. Excuse me. Left tab. Tab left. Scroll down. No, no, no. Tab right once. Yep. Uh, Crucifixion Woods. That's where we want to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Making fun of your go father? forward. No, Dad, go forward. Now we're gonna turn right, slight right, slight right. Take another right. Go into the water. Right into the water. Go right more. Yep. Can now go forward, and we're gonna hit that shoreline on the other side. Run past these stairs. Yep to this shoreline. All right, go right along the shoreline. Take a right. Eventually, you should find the... Yeah, just dodge the crab. You don't need to deal with the giant crab. Take a left. And you got two NPCs you gotta fight. You're low in stamina. Low stamina. Low stamina. Rush him now, rush him now. He's healing. Back up. Well, you just stumped me. It's not gonna kill you. Be prepared to back away. Take a drink. It's okay, it's just he's gonna get the heal off. Well, now beat him up. Oh, he oh he got a double heal. All right, back up. Rush him, rush him. 
Now, when I say rush him, that also means try to dodge the attacks as well. Back up now, back up, Dad. Yes. You have to back up. When I say... Okay, I'm sorry. There's, a, there's always the latency. I forget. Because he kept hitting you, and I knew you were gonna have you were gonna have enough health to take another hit. Okay. Well, remember, I I started with these guys, and then that was one of the technical problems last time and all that stuff. Yeah, so we got I invaded see. by a purple dude, who was gonna let us finish the fight with the NPCs. Before he Ta stole Take my, a hard right. Before he well, stole yeah. Thing. Well, yeah, naturally. I mean, why do I he's, feel like we really want to be more over here? Yeah, so that's where you want to be. Do all that stuff. So next time. We Did you kill the second guy the last time? Because he's not chasing us. Nice. Alright, Dad, you did it. I was button mashing at the end there, but... No, that, I would have done the same thing. Button mashing was the correct move at that point. Because he was getting ready to heal, and you can interrupt a spell casting if you can hit him fast enough. Going up here? Yep. Okay, so it looks like the second guy had probably got... You probably killed him the the first time we showed up here maybe you defeated him then purple guy took you out because there's there's two npcs that are no, i got killed here. i got i got killed i got killed i so know, what I happened mean, to the second npc that's weird there's two M Exile oh wait sword. that's that's what the second npc wields i guess somehow he died and it was left behind there well, nothing's happening, so am I going down this ladder? Or am I going out the door? Did you already check outside? Oh, yeah, go down those stairs. And then down those stairs. There's another item you can pick up. Or maybe you already did. Alright, back up the stairs. Yep, back up. Now we're gonna go down the ladder. So, Dad, do you remember Blight Town from Dark Souls One? Yeah, I remember. This is the Blight. This is basically the Blight Town level of Dark Souls Three. Yes. There's a bonfire you can light and rest at. There's also another. There's another undead bone shard we can pick up in this area, and I believe an Estus flask shard is also here. Ooh, let's do that, because I yeah. always want more, more We are sex. in fair and keep. Let's take a right along the road. Alright, so this is a very open area. We actually have to light three furnaces. There's, there's three furnace things located all throughout this swampy area. So am we I going to just get poisoned here? Am I, am yeah, I just... yeah, yeah, just just don't worry about the poison. Well, I mean, pay attention to it, but you're going to get poisoned. It, there's really no way around it. And am I stuck here because it's all this shit? Yeah, it's all, it's all slurpy. Iron something. That's a pyromancy. So, it gives you a shitload of defense, but you basically move at that walking pace no matter what. Those are basilisks. They do exactly what they did in the first game. So don't let them petrify you. See that second bar above the poison? Uh, is it, I, it's gone. Now, it it just went away. You'll see it when it comes when you. Uh... Yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. Go ahead. Take him out. It's okay. If the, if the smoke hits you briefly, that's fine. Yeah, like right there. See that second bar? In the middle of the screen? Yeah, I saw Robin, I see it. I'm trying to... Oh, right. Okay. Trying to concentrate here instead of... Yeah, get out, get out of there. Ah, oh, shit. Honestly, you should have just, just put backed out of there. Or dodge rolled forward to get out of there. Didn't think it was going to build up that fast. Well, I, had, I think I had like two of them on me, so. Alright, so what am I doing here? Uh, right, right. Right, take a right. Oh, we're just foraging through here. Yeah, I'm just kind of guiding along the wall. Because it's. I don't have this area 100% memorized. I know what to do, I know what 
where what the things we need to interact with look like. I don't remember exactly how to get there. But we're lighting three furnaces. This will unlock the doors to the next boss fight. And this will be our first Lord of Cinder boss fight coming up as well. Yeah, Dad, it's not worth it. You should have just left your souls. Well, yeah, because you walked into the uh, the Basilisk breath. Well, I... So, if I, if I walk into that breath, I'm just automatically dead. You're not automatically dead. That has to build up, but you stayed in the breath too long. That, that second bar that builds up above the poison purple bar you see right now in the middle of the screen, that is your that is the Patrify status bar that was building up. When that fills up, you die. Pick up your souls, pick up your souls now. You're in a good good spot. Yeah, let's just we can roll past him. Well that's what I'm doing because I don't Go left around this on these rocks, left around yeah. these rocks. You, you, you gotta give me a better better warning yeah, yeah, than I that, forgot. buddy, because okay. I was left, already left past around, left around. This left fucking around. Free. Take a right, take a right, Dad, take a right. You gotta give me more room than that, Robin. You gotta give me more. You, you'll be taking the left coming up here. You, you, you understand? You're probably a good full second behind me, I think. I would. It would also help if I knew what I was doing other than I just sit here. Take a right up these, up this pathway. What pathway? Oh no, it's just a bit further. Hand your camera to the right. Oh, never mind. Not what I thought it was. You know these basilisks uh, don't actually have giant eyeballs? That's just for intimidation. They actually have these tiny little faces and these little gnarly... Yeah, keep going forward. Along the wall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you know when Howard Cosell didn't give his mother's cupcake recipe? When, when a, when a pass gazebo? was in the air, buddy. See that gazebo? There's going to be a bunch of slugs, but we need that item. I believe that's the undead bone shard. Oh, let's, you know, the slugs. Yeah. Dad, heal. I'm trying to... Just get out and heal first, and then we'll deal with the slugs. Look at the slugs. They are the slugs. Yeah, they throw up a lot. It's the swampy area, so they're not going to have tummy aches. That dude's going for a nibble on the nipple. I mean, that was like... Yeah, back out and you heal. At this point, I'd rather not risk it. Alright, let's pick up the item. Great. Now we exit the gazebo. They pick up the item on the right side. Take a right. Take a right. No, keep going. No, hard right. Hard right. Robin, you an item. I'm, there's an item. I know. Yeah. I was pointing you to the item before this item. Okay, I'm sorry. Take a left now. Press A to exit that prompt. So there's an item over there you can pick up. Well, I can see items everywhere. Are we just doing this until I get killed, or is there something? No, looking? pick up the item, then just pick up that item. We're picking up. We're exploring, Dad. We're picking up items. It's this is okay. part All of right. the fun. All right. Left. That now I know what we're doing. Left. Dad, now Dad, you curve your camera to, to the left. Pan your camera to the left. See that ladder? Kill those slugs. Climb up the ladder. There's another bonfire we can rest at. All right. Now go ahead and beat up that slug. Surely the man who defeated Manus on his first attempt can not be bested by simple swamp slugs. Don't you believe it? That sounds vaguely familiar. 
Is that a 90s thing? No, that would have been stuff that you would have seen in, like, Looney Tunes or something like that. That was a thing like that. I wish there was a faster way to do this. All right. Anything up here? Which way are we going, buddy? Go that way. Inside? Let's see what's... Yeah, go in there. That's the bonfire. Bonfire's in there. Yep, there it is. Yeah. And... And there's Job of the Hut. That is actually a wolf. You want, I want you to want to get closer to the wolf creature. We're gonna go talk to the wolf creature. See, look, it's a big old doggo. Afraid to. Old wolf of Farron. I figured if this is related to the to puppy Sith from Dark Souls One. Robin, what am I doing? Pray to the wolf. Legion etiquette. Yep. Uh, ask to join Covenant. Yes. We joined the Dog Covenant. And we got the Watchdogs of Farron. Now, press OK. Let's go to your, uh, go to your inventory. We joined the Dog Covenant. That's a, quite the accomplishment. Tap right. Tap right. Actually, no, go to your equipment. You have to go to your equipment. So, B to back. Yep, first one. Scroll down to the f to where the rings are. There's an empty slot to the far right. That? Yes. Press A. Go to the right. Watch Dogs of Farron. Equip that. All right. Now, we serve... We are loyal servants of the good boy. Because she is a good boy. We're dog people. <laughs> oh, we got dogs. All right. All right, now we're going to take the elevator to the right. Up those little stairs. Uh, we have, there's a, there's a dude we got, we're going to be fighting coming up here. Eh, nothing special, but it might be a familiar face. Why would it be a familiar face? You'll see. Am I sending this back down? I, sure, just in case. God, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> I saw that. Up the <laughs> stairs. You saw that. Uh, Dad, I don't think you made it. Is that what you <laughs> died mean, son? It there it is. That's the guy you're fighting. Okay. Does he look at all familiar to you? Yeah, he looks like a reskin version of three of the bosses from Dark Souls. But should I fight this guy two-handed? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, fight him two-handed. You're not really going to be blocking his attacks. You're better off trying to dodge him. Also, one thing. Sorry, red wire moment. Uh, he has it. He has the ability to grab you, and he can throw you off the bridge. So try to fight in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can throw off boulders. The footage is really laggy for me right now, so I'm having a hard time following the action. He just picked me up. I don't think he's going to throw you off the bridge because he's facing towards the bridge. He Never mind. Me off the bridge. Uh, the, uh, reskin, reskin, frosty, the, the grumpy fucking snowman with his big snow cone just threw me off the bridge. I told you he was going to do that. Huh? Well, for okay, so two things. Number one, I did warn you before you fully no, engaged no, in the fight. No. And number two, the footage got it was the the game footage on my end turned into a PowerPoint presentation. I understand. I understand. <laughs> so I was only watching it like three frames per second. I understand. Hopefully that won't mess with our other stuff because we've had such good luck with our stuff and. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> He's living on the edge, people. And speaking of people, thank you, people, for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, we here at Game Guys greatly appreciate everyone who has taken the time out of their busy schedules to watch our content. For more content, if you wish to support our content, be sure to tell your friends, tell your family. Especially when my dad gets wrecked. Just got wrecked.
fucking yes. Dad and leave a comment describing your favorite dad gets wrecked moment. <laughs> we now return to our feature pr- feature presentation. Wow, he crushed my my grapes. <laughs> okay. Hey, Debra. Can you explain to us why we just got our grapes crushed? Or, hey, Ray, can you explain to us why? Ooh, I almost did it again. Wow. I think it's just the distance of the platform. Yeah, it could be. All right. We're going to beat him up this time. Oh, that's right. He did a butt slam attack on you. That was silly. All right. Ah! Oh, just a tip. Man, those are some big chunks. <laughs> he killed you with his ass the last time. I just think that's humorous. Careful, if he picks you off, he can throw you off the bridge. Gonna slam. Nice dodge. Giving him some uh, belly scratches. It's an effective way to deal with the demon. Taking a drink right underneath his butthole. That is a very ballsy move. Because he does that. He can do that. And now he's Goodbye. Dead. Goodbye, Soul sir. Goodbye, straight demon. You did it, Dad. Goodbye, rescanned straight demon. <laughs>